How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Update 28 has just been announced. I've just finished watching the live stream, as you can tell from the intro. We now know everything we need to know about Update 28. The new features, the new cars, the car packs and everything that's included. Now I'm sure some of you know that this is happening a week early. For some reason we've got the information today rather than next week. We don't know why, maybe something's happening next week, you never know, we'll have to wait and see. But today all the information I'm going to tell you is about the update that's releasing probably this week but the new seasons don't start until next Thursday, so keep that in mind. So first of all we're going to talk about the Update 28 Festival playlist, which includes the new cars and stuff like that. So for the whole series, which starts next Thursday, for 50% you can get a backstage pass. There will be more on that in a minute, that's a new future new feature sorry and then for 80 percent you can get the toyota trueno for the first week which is summer which starts next thursday for 50 percent you can get the first new car the gmc cyclone and then for 80 percent the renault clio from 2003 the gmc is the first new car of this month then autumn which is not next thursday but the thursday after that you can get at 50 percent the zenvo tsrs and then at 80 percent the volkswagen idr then the week after that which is winter for 50 percent you can get the gmc typhoon which is the second new car of this month and then at 80 percent the ford supervan 3. and then in spring which is the fourth and final week of update 28 which is a good few weeks from now for 50 percent you can get the hsv gtsr for 80% the Formula Drift 599 and then through an exclusive championship you can unlock the third and final new car of this month, the Hennessy Velociraptor as you can see on screen. So there's only three new cars this month, however obviously there's new features and new car packs and stuff like that. We could very well be getting something else next week because they've jumbled up the schedule, again we'll have to wait and see. But let's get on to the car packs which are being added to the game and then the new feature. So there are two car packs being added to the game. One is a Japanese hero car pack, which is seen on screen. It contains some very Japanesey cars. Um, there's no word of how much this will be. The cars are already in the game, but they are car pass cars. So if you don't have a car pass and you want some of the Japanese car pass cars, you can get this car pack. And then the same for the other car pack, which is the open top car pack, which is basically full of convertibles. These are all DLC cars, so if you wanted some of the DLC cars, you can finally get them through this car pack. Another car pack they've added is if you are a Game Pass Ultimate owner on Xbox or PC even, Game Pass Ultimate, you will get given a code in which you can redeem on Forza to get some free cars. And the cars are the Honda NSXR from 2005, the Koenigsegg Agera, the Pagani Zonda R and the Maserati 8 CTF. Those are four cars you'll get for free if you contain the Ultimate Game Pass. Um, you'll get given a code and you can just redeem that. Now the new feature which is called Horizon Backstage. Now it's unfortunately not as exciting as it sounds but we're going to talk about it now. Basically on the map there is a new icon and it is at the Horizon Festival. Um, as you can see on screen it just says sort of Horizon Backstage. And basically when you go up to it this is a way to gain some of the exclusive cars, some of the rarest cars in the game that you missed that you missed your chance to get. Every time you get an Horizon Backstage um, pass, you can go into the Horizon Backstage and you can pick what car you want to spend that pass on. And all of the cars will be exclusive rare cars, like the, um, the Lexus LFA, um, the Ferrari 59 XX Evo, the Volkswagen IDR, the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Some of the rarest cars will be available through this backstage pass. So you may remember at 50% for this series, you'll get given a pass. So instead of getting given a car, you get given a pass so you can choose which car you want to pick through the backstage pass, if that makes sense. Now through that feature, they are also adding a voting thing. So where as we as a community can vote for which cars we want to see on there next. They'll sort of update weekly and on a monthly basis. So the new cars will keep popping up and you can continue to spend your points when you get the points on whichever car you like. 
There's no word on when this feature is coming to the game. It's presumably with the update, which might be this week. It might be next week when the update should come out. It's all very jumbled up and we don't really know why. Um, but I think the backstage pass is a really good feature that's been needed. Um, as for updates and fixes, there was only one fix they they said, and that was fixing some of the loading issues for the game for PC people. Um, I think like errors were coming up, so if you have an error when launching the game, it may be fixed now. They're just fixing issues like that, and that was the only big thing they said. Now, lots of people are curious about what's happening next week. Why have they rushed into giving us the clues in the live stream a week before usual? It's a very good question. I have no idea. We shouldn't even have the clues by now. The clues should have come out tomorrow and the stream should be next week. But we've already got the stream. So it's all very weird. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens next Monday. Over the weekend, we might get some news. Maybe something's happening. I'm not sure. But anyway, ladies and gentlewomen, that is the update 28 summed up in a video three new cars couple of new car packs game pass code thing the new backstage feature all in all i mean can't complain about the update let me know in the comment section below what you are most excited for with this update leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't ready for more for more content i'm getting quite fast at saying that i'll see you all later